Hey, what is going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and today we've got for you guys is episode 4 of my mini-series in which we're covering all of the perks more likely to return to Advanced Warfare. For this episode we're going to be covering all of the awareness perks. Now I've got around 4 perks in mind. Now they are probably going to return into Advanced Warfare because A. They have been within previous Call of Duties and uh, B, they are really, really good perks. I pretty much have used every single one of them uh, for one use or another. And, you know, the more kind of useful they are, the more likely they will return to the game. So let's just get straight on to it. First of all, the first perk that I think is definitely 100% going to return to Advanced Warfare is going to be some kind of awareness perk, uh, be that Amplify or Awareness, who knows. But this is definitely the best perk I find uh, within any Call of Duty game. Now, for me personally, I enjoy to hear the enemies before I can see them. It allows me to prepare for that gunfight and overall get an upper hand on the enemy. And that is why I love that perk. Really, really good perk for SD as well. Because, of course, uh, it's kind of vital that you hear the enemies uh, before actually seeing them. Because, of course, you're not going to be able to respawn for that round. Now, moving on the second perk is going to be Recon. Now I really enjoyed this perk within Modern Warfare 3, especially the Pro version. If you tagged an enemy with a flashbang or a bullet, what it would do, it would indicate a kind of advanced UAV for around 12 seconds I believe, and if no one killed that enemy then of course it would disappear off the minimap, and then you would just need to kind of, you know, uh, move on and try and tag him again, or of course kill him. Now, I enjoyed this on a Dome on Modern Warfare 3. As soon as you spawn, throw a flashbang, boom, that's all of the enemies tagged and you've basically got a massive upper hand straight away. Now moving on, we're going to move on to a perk uh, similar to Sit Rep. Now Sit Rep is a perk that allows you to see enemy explosives. Now of course this is really, really good and it's going to be a really, really good and useful perk within Advanced Warfare, especially if there's going to be some kind of brand new futuristic bounce in Betty's or Claymore's or something like that. Hopefully none of that will return but more than likely it will be returning and therefore this perk uh, would definitely give you a major advantage and of course prevent you uh, from any unfair deaths. Now moving on to the last perk, now I'm not really sure about this perk however I think it was a really really good one within Call of Duty Ghosts and that is going to be Wiretap. Now Wiretap just simply allows you to have the UAV of the enemy team. So if the enemy team have got one UAV, then of course uh, you're going to be able to use that to your advantage. Uh, within Call of Duty Ghosts, it was up to four SATCOMs that give you uh, similar to an advanced UAV. So for example, if your team had two SATCOMs and the enemy team had two SATCOMs, that would equal to four SATCOMs because of course you're using this perk and therefore you're able to uh, basically have an advanced UAV, which of course is a massive advantage. Really useful perk for free throw within Call of Duty Ghosts as well. So if you guys are of course still playing that game and playing free throw, then of course uh, definitely stick on Wiretap. Really, really useful perk and uh, will definitely allow you to win that game. But that is pretty much it for episode 4. Next episode we're going to be covering all of the traditional perks. And if you guys have got any more suggestions on perks that will return to Advanced Warfare, please put it in the comment section below. Be sure to reply to all the comments. And I belong to Sensation. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.